like that good inside your mind Just watch me break It's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be giving you the full tour of our dream big family home. I absolutely love how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. So with that being said, let's get started with the tour. So when you first walk into our house, you can see that we are now in our laundry area. I feel like this was the perfect room to make the laundry room. I absolutely adore the brand new washer and dryer combo. So we have a stuffed animal. There's also a letter. You can see our big family calendar, which really helps to keep our family organized. And then this bag right here was actually a gift from maybe like two weeks ago. And then on the other side of me, you can see there's this shelf that has little baskets with some cleaning supplies. And then here's our laundry hamper. You can see our dog Charlie's dog food and treats. And it seems that Charlie has tracked in some muddy footprints. So I'm so sorry for the mess. Thanks, Charlie. I'm going to clean that up later. But let's go ahead into our next room. This room is our family room. I love this new Big Mama green couch. I'm going to keep calling it that because I think it's so funny. But it has a pullout bed underneath. And the bedding is pink, which is my favorite color, so it's just open right now. It really gives off family vibes, and you can see we have the TV, of course. There's this, like, random show playing. It's not too cluttered in here. I mean, you can see we have a coffee table with some coffee cups, and um, there's also a couple toys scattered around, and Charlie's bed. And that's pretty much everything in this section of the room, so now we can head over to the kitchen which again i think is probably my favorite room ever i don't know i struggled making the kitchen part of me really did want to use the new counter we got that also has the dishwasher but i don't know i like the storage that this one has so i kind of did the same thing i did in our previous house where in this drawer we have some um kitchen appliances and then down here we have the recipes but um you can see we have our pot right here and in the sink there's um a little lunch box above there i'm not sure if you guys can see it well but we have our microwave and of course the two towels that i got from what is it called? The Krill Grill. And then over here, I have the same shelving system because I just love it so much. And this works as our pantry, but there's also a couple more kitchen appliances. And then down here, I have my coffee area. On the right side of me, we have two little outfits. So one of them is mine, and then the other one is my husband August's work outfit. This is our new little, um family dining area so now let's move over where we have of course our refrigerator and this is the new refrigerator i did a restock video as a short so make sure you go and check that out if you haven't already but i'll go ahead and just open it so you guys can see and moving on we have the play area which looks like this i don't know i like to have in this room right here because it's right next to the big doors that lead to the backyard so the kids can go in and out playing indoors and outdoors this is a little crafting station where we have some crayons there's glue and then this is the new little like play area we got that you can turn into a little clubhouse you can turn it into a lemonade stand or what we have it as right now which is like a little horse stable and of course we have the little horsey toys we're actually not going to go in the backyard right now. We're going to look at all the places inside and then we'll end off the tour in the backyard. So let's head over to the elevator. Having an elevator in a house like this is kind of crazy. I really would have opted for stairs, but you know, it still works. We can still make it upstairs, so that's pretty much all that matters. But this is what it looks like. We have arrived to the second story, and we're going to head over to the right side. 
I don't hate this room, but it's not my favorite. But, you know, it is what it is. Over here, we have the bath and shower. So we did upgrade. Um, we didn't have the shower in our restroom in our previous house. So that's nice to have. There's two mirrors. And you can see this side has a changing table. And then this side has, like, all the stuff that the kids used to get ready. So going to the left side of the house... First of all, we have my daughter Leah's room, and she was so happy to finally have her own room. If you guys watched our moving video, if you haven't, that'll be linked in the eye in the corner. But this is what her room looks like now. I think it's so cute. I really tried to emphasize the fact that she's getting a little bit older. She has a makeup vanity, which is so crazy. And then, of course, in the middle, you can see her bed. She has her backpack and her duffel bag. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking where the duffel bag was from. And it was also a gift a while ago. Anyways, um, yeah, this is her bed. And then she has her desk area. She can do her schoolwork and just, like, maybe play Roblox with her friends. And that is it for Leah's room. So now we're going to move over where we have Livy's room. So Livy's room is in between Leah and me and August's room. I went for an orange theme, if you couldn't tell. I think it looks really nice and fits her personality. So she has this bed. Again, I'm so sorry for the mess. Let me go ahead and just tidy that up really quickly. This is her favorite toy chest. And inside, we have those like lanky box toys i love the apple and the orange paintings these are also downstairs too this is her shelf where she has her tablet way up here because we are trying to get in control of her a little bit more because she stays on this tablet and then this is a little bear sleeping bag down here, she has things that are more accessible to her, like her toys and art supplies. And then down here, we have another one of those um, sleeping bags, and I think this one's a caterpillar. So now we're going to move over to me and my husband, August's bedroom. I think it's so cozy. It really gives off, like, cottage core vibes, I guess, or just, like, farmhouse vibes. So this is our new bed. We have this painting above there. We can come here. We can sit down and enjoy a cup of tea and also read our little magazines. I wasn't sure what to do with this half of the room, but I thought it would be nice for us to have our own little private restroom. So here it is. We have our robes, we have some towels, and a little bathtub. That is everything on the second story. And we have just made it to the attic, and this is where Leo's room is. This is the rest of his room. I don't know, I think it's really cool to have an attic room. Over here, he has his bed. Above that, we have this shelf with a bunch of, like, trophies and his backpack. This is his gaming setup. It's the best. Of course, I had to bring back the mini fridge. So this is what it looks like. It's stocked up with everything that a teenage boy could ask for. This time I did um, add this little like basket with a bunch of his games. And then the final part of his room, there's a drum set, which I think is really awesome. Above that, there's a cork board with a bunch of posters and a calendar. And because his room is in the attic i thought it made sense to add like a little power box or just something of that sort so that's why we have the drum set so it kind of acts like it's hiding it not really but we can pretend i think it's safe to say that we can move on to the backyard so the first thing is the pool i have the pool closer to the um house because when the kids are in it i want to make sure i can monitor them well so nothing goes wrong I think this pool is literally the perfect size. I mean, we have a couple um, floaties in here and like pool toys, I guess. Nothing too crazy because there's not a lot of space. This is our little family picnic area with this table that has this like adorable yellow cloth on it. And then we have the fire pit. We can turn it on and it just looks like that. This cooler actually has a bunch of s'mores ingredients. And the final section of the backyard is the kids tree house with some gardening supplies and we have a chicken. That is going to bring us to the end of the house tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. 
If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. Comment down below and let me know your favorite part of our new house. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!